Hello everyone, my name is Omer and we are together with another awesome tutorial. As you see in this tutorial, we are going to use After Effects and we will do a Google Ads animation as you see on the screen. It is very basic animation style and we will do all the steps in this video. Before start the tutorial, please make sure you subscribe my YouTube channel and like this awesome video. And if you hit the notification bell, you will be noticed with the upcoming tutorials. Alright, I don't want to waste your time. Let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. Alright, here we are in After Effects. First of all, let's import the file. Uh, double click. Here I have this Google Ads image, let's import it, excellent, let's drag on the timeline. Brilliant, uh, I want to scale it, press S on the keyboard and let's put this here, I think that size is enough. Alright, brilliant. Let's lock it because we don't want to click accidentally and change the location. Alright, perfect. Let's grab the pen tool, first of all we need to uh, create these shapes. We should have stroke. All right, brilliant. Let's click here and then lastly here. So we have this shape as you see. All right, uh, let's go to the open this parameter shape uh, and stroke. Let's change line cap as rounded cap because we want to have a round caps here. All right, brilliant. Let's change the color. Choose this color. Okay, perfect. And we have this shape. I think we need to increase the size, increase the size and let's see if we did good. All right, that size sh should be enough. First of all, we need to uh, change the anchor point, grab the pen behind tool and put this one here. Okay, brilliant. Uh, let's press V on the keyboard and put this shape here. Okay, uh, we can decrease the size. Grab the pen tool and choose this location, this point and decrease the size. Okay, that's good. Now we can animate it, but first of all, let's name it blue shape. Okay, control D4, duplicate it and let's name it yellow shape. Okay, the last one, control D, will be this green shape, green circle. Let's name it green circle. Okay, perfect. We can make invisible those layers because because first of all we need to animate this blue shape okay open this parameter and let's add here a trim pad open trim pad and decrease the end parameter as zero press stopwatch and create a keyframe let's go here one second and make it 100 okay we have this animation all right good Select all the keyframes and let's make easy ease. I think we need to decrease the size. Let's put, put it around 20 frames. Yeah, that's good enough. Select all the keyframes, go graph editor and select this dots and change the curve however we want. I, I like it. Brilliant. Okay, this is the blue shape and then we need to animate the yellow shape. Go here. We can copy the trim pad that we have used. Copy this trim pad and go contacts of yellow shape. Press Ctrl V on the keyboard. So we have this yellow shape as well. But uh, we need to change a little bit. Let's make an offset. And this time we need to change the color. Select yellow shape. Go stroke. Grab eyedropper tool and pick this color. Click OK. Okay, perfect. Let's make it for green circle. Grab eyedropper and choose this color. Okay, for green circle. Okay, let's uh, hide it. We have our blue and yellow shape as you see. Okay, uh, as you see, we need to animate it. Uh, they should go left and right. Uh, press R on the keyboard for blue shape. Create a keyframe. Press U on the keyboard and let's change as... 15. I think we need to reverse the rotation minus 20. Minus, let's say min minus 25. Okay, that should be enough. Uh, 
For yellow shape, press R on the keyboard, create keyframe. Let's put it here. And this time we need to type 25. Plus 25. So we have this kind of animation. First of all, I want to decrease the opacity of image. Yeah, that's good. And then again, lock this layer. So we have this, as you see, animation. That's good. That's brilliant. Lastly, we need to animate the green circle. If we want, we can increase this size. Let's type uh, 30. I think that's brilliant. And minus 30. Sorry, minus 30. Okay, good. Grab those layers, those keyframes and keyframe assistant easy is. We should have a smooth animation. Okay. And then select all the keyframes by holding shift. Go graph editor and select those layers. Press this icon and let's animate and decrease and change the curve. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Exit the graph editor. We have this animation. All right. Lastly, let's animate the green circle. Open it. First of all, we need to go contact and we need to add a trim path here. This time we need to make an end as one. As you see, when I do that, it's kind of circle, but make sure you type one. Okay, good. Uh, this time we need to make an animation. Press P on the keyboard, create a keyframe. When they opened, okay, good. Move this keyframe here and let's move a little bit on the timeline. I think that should be enough. Select this layer and press V on the keyboard for selection tool and put this circle here. Let's zoom in. Okay, that's good. All right. Again, move a little bit on the timeline and put this circle here. Okay, again, move a little bit on the timeline. Press copy this keyframe and paste it. It should be the same keyframe. Again, go a little bit and change the location. Okay, and again, copy and paste this keyframe. So we have this nice animation. Let's preview it. Okay, we need to work a little bit uh, for green circle. Increase the size between those keyframes let's select all the layers all the keyframes and make easy okay make sure we have some problems with curves select all the keyframes go graph right click keyframe interpolation and change special interpolation as linear so we will not have any problem anymore Okay, good. Uh, right now, we should change curves as well. Okay, select all the keyframes, go graph editor. I think we need to put this one. Okay, okay, good. Grab this one and make it. Grab this keyframe, I mean this keyframe, and let's make it similar with that one okay last one grab this curve and increase the duration change the curve okay let's see the animation select all the layers all the keyframes change the position okay perfect let's make fit and see the animation first of all we need to put the yellow shape here under the blue shape and the green circle under the blue shape. Okay, we have this animation. Last thing we need to do, create a null object, put above all the layers and select all the layers parent with null because we want to change the position of all shapes by using null object. Press P on the keyboard, create a keyframe for position and then decrease and put a little bit bottom. Yeah, that's good. Let's right click easy is make easy is so we have this nice animation in After Effects. 
Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you find it very useful. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you have any questions, you can drop your questions on the comment section below. I will answer your questions as soon as possible. And make sure you subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos. You know, subscribing a YouTube channel is free. Alright, until next tutorial, take care.